Hello dear viewers of my channel, this is a new video, and if you like it, then be sure to put a like, subscribe to the channel and write your opinion about the video in the comments, or you can suggest the next anime for retelling in the comments. Enjoy watching. The girl was sitting on the ground, and was covered with fear in her eyes and read that she was in despair. A little while earlier she came to the guild where she was given a uniform, so that she could become an adventurer. She was told that as soon as she turned 15 she decided to help adventurers, she was given her badge of the lowest rank and told that independent adventurers could have a silver badge at most. The girl was also told that in case of emergency the girl could be recognized by her badge. The administrator offered to choose tasks for the lowest rank. At that time she was approached by a group of newbie adventurers who invited the girl to join them. The Nick was just short of a medic. They decided to exterminate the goblins who attacked the village and kidnapped the girls. The administrator also asked whether all the guys have porcelain rank, which is the lowest, and advised not to get involved in this case. But the guy was proud, and eventually the girl could not resist their pressure and decided to go with them. All the guys were in a good mood, they stood at the entrance to the cave, and then began to go inside, although the girl was scared and hesitated, still continued with the guys. A few steps later she suggested that the guys come out and talk about the plan, but they decided not to do it, because they were already inside. In their opinion goblins were the weakest monsters in the world, then he began to brag that sometime in the future he will definitely become a killer of dragons. The girl was reassured as much as possible, and one of the members of the squad was a graduate of the Capitals Academy of Magic. They continued on their way, and the girl asked if they had potions and other supplies but it turned out that they had neither money nor time to buy them, because the girls in the cave were in danger. He also said that the girl could heal them when they were wounded, but in fact she could only use healing magic three times. Suddenly the group noticed something strange. At that time the girl started praying, causing them to fall behind their friends. They started to catch up with them, as suddenly there was a sound behind them, and the girl started to be afraid. Another started to say that they were walking in a straight line and it was impossible, as suddenly goblins came to them, they were scared, in their eyes read horror, the sorceress started to read a spell after which she managed to kill one goblin. She wanted to repeat it, but as soon as she started to read the spell, she was attacked by goblins and knocked her down, after which one of them broke her staff. The girl decided to stand up for her friend and started waving her staff to drive the goblins away, but one of the enemies stabbed her in the stomach and she started screaming in pain. The rest of the squad came to them and the boy was able to force the goblins to retreat a bit. The girl was ordered to use healing magic, and then she started to cast a spell, while the guys couldn't fight together because the guy was swinging his sword too much. He successfully started attacking the enemies, but one of them managed to pierce the guy's leg at the end. He wanted to continue the battle, but as soon as he swung at the enemy, his sword hit the top of the cave and the guy was in a terrible position, which the goblins took advantage of and started beating him to death. At that time the girl couldn't heal the sorceress, so the fighter decided to join in and ordered them to retreat together. She managed to push the goblins, but suddenly a huge hobgoblin appeared, which easily caught the girl's leg. He started to look at her carefully and then several times stamped her into the wall. She was completely defenseless and the goblins pounced on her and started tearing her clothes. The girl watched the hobgoblin and the goblin started to do his thing, while the two Survivors took advantage of the situation and retreated. The adventurous didn't respond and only coughed blood. Suddenly the monsters caught up with them, whereupon the girl received an arrow in her arm. The enemies pushed the girl away and started to tear off the clothes of the adventurous. Seeing such horror she could not help herself and pissed herself, which caused the goblins to laugh. They openly mocked her. Suddenly there was a hero, who confidently headed towards the goblins, Podden of them pounced on the man but he easily sealed it in the ground, and then Propylophaculum, the others also tried to attack the hero, but they were just as easily eliminated. The girl asked who the man was, and he introduced himself as a goblin slayer. She saw that he was a silver-ranked adventurer. He took out an arrow then offered a medicine. The girl asked him to give the medicine to the adventurer, but it turned out that she was poisoned. She realized that it was the end and asked the man to finish her off. The naive girl thought that they could save her, but the goblin killer explained that she was doomed. The girl told about the big goblin and the hero said that he would go to kill the goblins the girl wanted to go with him and he asked about her skills. She said that she could create light and heal wounds. 
The man started to cut open the corpse of the goblin and explained that he needed to stop his smell and finally wished to get used to the smell of blood. They got to the corpse of the guy, and the hero noticed that the sword, which he used was too long for the cave. He also assumed that the goblins attacked from behind, and then showed the passage from where they came. He said that the first thing to watch out for is the walls, because if you do not do so, the adventurers are waiting for such a situation. The hero noticed that the girl was dragged into the middle, then threw the torch and saw the goblin, then almost instantly he killed him. Although he couldn't see in the dark, but thanks to his experience he was able to pull it off. The hero set a trap and then they went into the depths. He gave instructions to the girl and then began to move forward and as soon as there was light he ran straight and threw a spear that was able to kill the shaman. He jumped over his trap, the girl managed to do it and the hero ordered to start sorcery. The enemies were blinded. A huge hobgoblin was killed by the protagonist, after which he poured gasoline on the big guy and eventually set him on fire. The girl got worried about the people inside, but there was no time for that because another group of goblins pounced right on the man and he very skillfully killed them all. They continued their way and then saw a girl who was alive, but her mental state was just terrible. The hero approached the enemy leader and he pounced on him. The hero expected this and then finished off the enemy with one blow. The man found where the goblins were hiding the children and said that if the adventurers had come a little later, they would have been met by half a hundred goblins. The girl was very upset, but the hero explained that the goblins would grow up and take revenge. The girl said that there might be good goblins among them, but the hero thought that even so it was necessary to reduce the number of victims. The girl cried because she was sad, while the hero only counted that in the end he exterminated 32 goblins. The girl heard that goblins often kidnap girls, and newbie adventurers are often victims of these creatures, girls who manage to survive. After all went to the temple, the girl thought that although in the world such cases are constantly happening, she knows that she will continue to follow the path of the adventurer, then she said hello to the killer of goblins and showed the armor that she bought. The hero decided to go after the goblins again and offered the girl to go along with him. The nature outside was just great. The girl excitedly talked about the fact that she would soon go to the city and asked the boy what he wanted to get from the city, but he was very upset, which surprised the girl, he was angry and told her to go wherever she wanted. The girl was put in a wagon, she said that she wanted to go to the city with the boy, but since he did not have such an opportunity she wanted to bring at least something. The man said that the boy also wanted to go with her, and advised her to talk to the boy when the girl returned. She still hadn't apologized to him. She got out of bed and stretched, then began to dress. She said hello to the hero, saying that he has always woke up very early, he answered her questions as unemotional as possible, and the girl thought about the fact that the hero always at dawn checks if there are any traces of goblins nearby. After that he always checks the fence for stability, and if something happened and fixes it. This was repeated for five bodies, they had lunch at the table, and when asked if the food was good, the hero said yes, then he gave a huge amount of money and said it was a month's pay. He literally went to work every day. The girl wanted to go along with the hero. They moved together towards the city. He asked if it was worth helping, but she refused. It turned out that lately there were a lot more robots. He said that it would be better if the goblins did not exist. The girl agreed with these thoughts. At that time, some old man started crying that goblins are a nuisance and asked that they be exterminated. The administrator checked the documents, then counted the money that the old man offered. Finally, he left. It was already the third task for today. They realized that for these tasks will take only one person. At that time the hero arrived at the guild, where the adventurer bragged to the administrator of his achievements and openly flirted with her, and she began to sell him a potion. Everyone paid attention to the goblin killer. Adventurers of the same rank looked at him and thought that he was much worse than them, and they also condemned the hero's equipment. The administrator began to display the tasks, the adventurers began to look at a huge number of tasks, suddenly the newcomers decided that they would go to destroy the goblins, but they were advised to go to the sewers. One of the men began to push, after which they got into a fight. The girl noticed that the hero does not take up the task because no one takes up for the goblins, so he has nowhere to hurry. He started talking to the young girl, they talked about how he might not be so overzealous in destroying the cave. He tested the girl's knowledge of how she knew everything about goblins, she answered all the questions perfectly, she had memorized all the tactics and tricks about goblins. 
The administrator said hello to the hero, then told about three tasks in which are connected with goblins, also told that the goblins killed adventurers and stole the daughter of the customer. The hero asked if someone took on another task. It turned out that yes, the newcomers went on a mission to destroy the goblins. The administrator said that she tried to stop the newcomers, but they did not listen. The girl wanted to help, but the hero was not going to get involved. The goblin killer walked up to his roommate then wished her good luck on her way home. She thought about the fact that the hero had not returned. It had been two days since the hero went on the mission. At that time, in the very scene, the goblins were rejoicing around a bonfire and spitting over the girl's body. The hero along with his co-worker were near the entrance. In the past, the goblins attacked the girl's village where they killed all those living. They raped the hero's sister, who could only watch while hiding. Then he took up arms to take revenge on those bastards. Sometime later, the newcomers returned to the guild. At that time, the hero thought only about how to exterminate goblins. He literally enjoyed the process. He also remembered the newcomers who said that they chased away the goblins. But those were only those who fled from the nests. But the goblins who were able to survive become stronger they become leaders. A hero for goblins was the same as goblins were for humans. The man was telling the girl that the man was now what he used to be. The goblin killer ordered the girl to prepare a spell. Then she used a defense that caused one goblin to separate from the others, and the others were trapped in the fire. The girl was upset that she had to use her power for such a thing. She began to pray for the other people who had died in this place, and couldn't understand why she had been given such an ability. It started to rain, so the fire didn't need to be put out. The administrator told the hero to be proud of himself because he was a silver-ranked adventurer. The administrator the next day prepared a new task and the hero went there, which pleased her. After he went home, where he was brought home by a girl, and also said that she had prepared a delicious meal. Long ago, when the stars were fewer, the gods of light met with the gods of darkness. They threw dice to decide who would rule the world. They threw them so many times that even the head was spinning. The Avenurists were discussing a beautiful elf. Elves were direct descendants of fairies. She said she wanted to see an orc bulk. An old man came up and said they didn't understand that it wasn't their language. A dwarf started to speak in his own language. But even so the administrator couldn't understand who they were talking about. The ogre intervened, and he pardoned his friends and apologized. The administrator was surprised by such a strange company, because dwarves and elves do not get along at all. They were all of silver rank. The lizard could not boast of knowing the language of humans. He assumed that the one they were looking for was the goblin killer, and the administrator understood. Suddenly the hero approached the girl, and as soon as they realized that he was the one they were numb, she pointed at the guys. And he asked if they were goblins, but they said that of course they were not. They had business with the hero. The girl wanted to go with him, but he asked her to rest. The girl was very sad, and she was approached by newcomers who offered to join them. They did not understand why she was with him. After all, he is a silver rank and kills goblins. They discussed rumors that the hero was using the newcomer as bait. A beautiful girl intervened and sent the newcomers away, then started talking about the hero and how he was hard to deal with because he wasn't attentive. She said that the hero asked her for a very strange thing, but the girl thought it was obscene. She also said that it was hard to be together with the hero. She also added that he is an incredible man and that even though he just slays goblins he does it every day, he helps the world a lot more than monster hunters. She also said that there are many monsters in the world, the girl could follow the other people, but she did not want to. Finally she was told that if she wanted to stay with the hero, then let it be her decision. At that time the other adventurers could not believe that the hero looked so weak even though he had a high rank. But the dwarf said that the hero was incredibly well and professionally dressed. She said that he would at least sometimes wash his armor, but the man explained that it is necessary to hide the smell of metal, because goblins have a great charm, the elf started to argue with the dwarf, and the question came up about the age. She said that she was 2,000 years old, but the old man unpleasantly admitted that he was only 107. She started laughing at the old man, but finally the lizard intervened and calmed the friends down. They began to talk about the case, namely about the demons that want to take over the world. The hero explained that he is not interested and he cares only about goblins. The girl got out of herself because the whole world was in danger. She wanted to attack the man. The lizard asked the hero to destroy the goblins. 
The hero agreed and asked for more information. He began to tell that the army of demons wants to invade the world, and these adventurers were hired as messengers. And now a huge number of goblins were on the territory of the elves. The hero asked if there were champions or lords among those goblins. The elf did not understand, and the hero explained that these are the rulers of the goblins, which are like the human elite. Also the elf said that they cannot mobilize an army, so their choice fell on the hero, who was famous for his skills. The hero immediately went into battle, which amazed the guys because they didn't understand how the hero was going to deal with it alone. He went to the administrator and said that he was going, she decided to give the reward without reporting, then asked to give the money to the priestess, and also he was going to go alone. As soon as the girl heard this she started to shout that she wanted to go with him. He tried to consult with the girl, but she explained that if the hero does not give a choice, then it puts before the fact, in the end the girl decided to go with the hero. At that time the guys were shocked at what a strange and mysterious man the hero turned out to be. They sat around the fire and talked about the reasons for becoming an adventurer, but in the end they started to talk about what a delicious meal was prepared. The girl offered the elf a soup, and she was very happy. The lizard said that his dream was to become a dragon, but the hero didn't even have to say why he went to be an adventurer, everyone knew. The elf shared the elf's rations, the dwarf decided to give fire wine, the elf decided to try, and immediately coughed. After the old man offered the hero a drink, and he drank without any sound. The elf started to pester the hero, and tried to take off his helmet. The hero gave the new friends some cheese, the lizard was shocked that people do not hunt but use animals. They tasted the cheese and the lizard started to shout that it was real nectar. They all praised the dish. The elven girl went to the hero's bag, but he stopped her because it was dangerous, she hadn't seen the scrolls, and the lizard explained that it was an ancient magic that allowed even children to use mania. The girl remembered that strange sorceress. Also the hero did not confess about what spell is hidden in the scrolls. Everyone said that the hero is very stubborn, and everyone began to have fun. After a while, the lizard asked where the goblins come from. The girl said that they were told that they appear when they make mistakes. The hero told the guys that he had heard that the goblins came from the moon, namely from the green moon. He did not know how exactly they got here, and that place was terrible, and they burned with envy, so they came here. He was told this by his sister, who had died. The hero didn't think his sister was ever wrong, so he believed the story. The elven woman noticed that the hero had fallen asleep. The others also decided to lie down to rest, and the girl covered the hero with a blanket and touched his bronze. The next day, the girl winded the household home. The hero was not at home, which made her sad. At that time at the entrance to the Peshera stood goblins, who wanted to sleep badly. The elf girl prepared to shoot and then made a volley. The arrow instantly killed two goblins, and the team went to exterminate the goblins. Long ago the gods were bored of throwing bones created creatures and the world they were to live in. All creatures were destined for adventure, which became the new entertainment of the gods. At that time the guys stood at the entrance. The elf said that it was not magic, but skill. The hero began to open the corpse of the monster, and then explained that you need to coat themselves with their blood, as goblins might good charm. They walked down the corridor, they looked at the walls, and the girl said that in the time of the gods there had been wars here, they considered it cruel, and also said that it was ironic that the humans had left and the goblins had taken their place. At one time the girls complained that they stank, the elf promised that she would take revenge on the hero, though they were used to dungeons it was surprisingly creepy. Suddenly the elf stopped the group, there was a signal trap in this place, which seemed strange to the protagonist. There were definitely no goblin shamans in this place which meant that these goblins definitely had a leader. The hero was asked how he used to deal with the huge nests, and he began to talk about the countless ways to destroy the goblins. They decided to look for traces of the monsters, and the old man said that they should go to the Leo, because they trampled the floor and are definitely there. The hero decided to go the other way, and explained that they had to hurry, and advised them to breathe through their noses, so they would quickly get used to the smell. A little while later they found a girl who was suspended, she begged to be killed. The hero decided to fulfill the girl's wish, the priestess begged the Hecroy to stop, while the prisoner asked to kill not her, suddenly a goblin jumped out, which the hero instantly killed. It turns out the hero immediately realized that it was a goblin. The girl begged that the guys would kill all the goblins, 
At that time, the lizard began to read a spell and a warrior appeared. The priestess decided to write a letter and they sent the warrior along with the girl. The elven girl was depressed after what she saw. At that time, the hero was able to find a map of the ruins then he made sure of what the old man said. He threw the map down and ordered the elven girl to carry it. She killed one of the goblins and they continued their advance on the place. Then the next goblin managed to survive the attack, but in time the hero intervened and destroyed the enemy. A little while later it turned out that the priestess had two spells left, the lizard had one, and the Styrian had four. The priestess offered the elf to drink, but the hero told her not to drink so much, and to eat, as it will have a bad effect on her condition. He offered the girl to leave, but she was angry and determined to finish the job. The old man asked the elf not to shout, and offered to avenge the monsters for what they had done. The mood of the team realized and they continued on their way. They reached a strange place that was very high. They saw the enemies, and there were a lot of them, but the hero was already able to come up with a plan. The enemy woke up, after which he saw an old man in front of him, who was singing and dancing, after which he dusted alcohol. The goblin grabbed his throat. At that time the priestess started to prepare a spell. Thanks to the opiate and silence, all the goblins fell asleep and now they couldn't make any noise and the team started to kill the goblins one by one. The Elphus was cutting the enemies with special enthusiasm. They kept on slaying the enemies. The elven girl watched the hero killing the goblins with their own weapons. Then she realized that the hero was doing the same thing all by himself. The guys finished with their task and started to move according to the hero's instructions. But suddenly they heard heavy footsteps. And just a moment later, they saw an ogre in front of them. He began to speak to them and complained about the strength of his subordinates. The priestess reacted and began to prepare a fireball. And then the attack began to take effect. The shield began to crack and the girl prayed to the god to protect them. Thanks to the priestess, the guys managed to survive but she would not be enough for another enemy attack. The enemy began to promise torment to the boys. The hero ordered to summon a warrior, and the lizard started the spell, then created a warrior and a weapon. The old man began to use his strength, and the elf was able to destroy one eye of the enemy. The old man attacked, but it had no effect. The subordinates were able to buy time, and the hero struck a blow that left a scratch, which immediately healed. Afterward, the enemy struck the hero, and he flew off. The enemy restored the eye, and began to swear that he would do terrible things to the guys. The priestess approached the hero, who was lying on the ground. The rest of the guys tried to fight the enemy, but he was incredibly strong and there was no way they could resist him. The hero didn't see anything and the priestess told him that the guys were fighting. The hero ordered to give potions. After she got the potions, she saw the terrible situation the others were in, and the hero didn't waste time and asked for his bag, and then went into battle, even though he was bleeding. The subordinates believed in the hero. At that time Vryag was preparing a fireball that would definitely destroy everyone this time. Elf and Dwarf attacked with long-range spells. At that time the hero used some power and the enemy was instantly torn to pieces. He woke up with not full body and could not understand what the hero did. And he said that he slipped with a swick to get water from the sea floor which under great pressure attacked the enemy. The priestess remembered her conversation with the sorceress. At that time, the hero had approached the monster, then prepared to finish off the enemy and hacked its head with his sword. The elf inquired how their mission had gone, after which the team silently went to the wagon. They began their journey, after which the elf asked if the hero was always so engaged, and he was. Also, the priestess said that he was very caring of those around him, the Elphus said that the hero annoyed her. After all adventures should be fun, not this kind of thing. She intended one day to show the hero what real adventures were like. 